Hi, I'm David Trainer. Uh, I have a, well, actually, he's an adult now, um, a son that's 29 that has uh, was diagnosed at nine days of life with uh, galactosemia. His name is David Trainer Jr. or DJ. Well, recently we were, DJ and I actually, were working with uh, Jaguar Gene Therapy on some information and uh, recently a book was published called Navigating Galactosemia Life Stages. And uh, it's a wealth of information for new parents to galactosemia. So like I said, at nine days of life, DJ was di diagnosed with uh, galactosemia. And at that time it was 1993. Um, the internet wasn't available. You couldn't just log on to Google or uh, whatever web browser that you have and search galactosemia. Uh, at that time it was, well, let's go to the library and look up uh, in medical uh, books what galactosemia really is. And that brought me to several other articles and several, several other medical books to find out what galactosemia was. So in 1993, it was uh, not as simple as just typing in galactosemia and searching it. You had to actually take some time and go to the library and look at all this information that was there. And then talk to doctors at the hospital. And most of the doctors uh, that I talked to, his pediatrician at the time, did not know what galactosemia was. So the doctor was actually learning at the same time I was, and we were bringing information in and, and talking to the doctors and going over this information as to what the best course of action was at the time for DJ as an infant. So uh, the times being that you can search this on the internet, and actually the book actually comes up in your searches. Um, this book just gives you most, if not all, the information that I found at the time and in, in helps you as a parent decide what is the next step. It also gives you probably a little bit more comfort than I had at the time because uh, medical books, they don't give you the insight of the parents that have dealt with galactosemia. They just present it as facts, and this is what you should do, and this is how you take care of galact a galactosemic patient. So the book is very concise. It gives a, an amount of information that's unbelievable, and it also gives you insight from the parents. As a new parent, I didn't know what was going on with my child. My uh, His mom didn't know what was going on. Uh, so not having that information, it creates a fear of what to do, what we need to do, what happens next. There, there was nothing. Um, we didn't know uh, at the time what outcomes were or what outcomes could be uh, if we didn't follow uh, a very strict diet for a galactosemic child. We didn't know what he could and couldn't have. We had to learn as far as the diet is concerned, what he could and couldn't have, we had to learn all that from scratch. I mean, it, it was, uh, let's go back to the library and look this up. Let's uh, take a look at what's happening with uh, why he was jaundiced, why he had sugar cataracts, why his liver was failing. Uh, they mean the possibility of brain damage. All of this, I mean, piled on to new, uh, a parent of a newborn really could scare you. Um, and at that point, in, being involved in this book and as a, a parent of an adult child that has galactosemia, um, I'm, I'm happy that other parents participated that have younger children uh, and put their input into this. Because opening this book and reading it, if, if I had this book when DJ was born, uh, it would probably knock out most of that fear as a parent of a galactosemic child, especially a newborn, and understand what needs to happen. Uh, and not, not only as a newborn, as an adolescent, as a toddler, as a teenager. I mean, this book references and gives you direction in all those aspects. And 
I really wish I had this book when PJ was small, when he was a little baby. So. Thank you.